Hello folks. So I had a major brain fart last night. I took out two telescopes and with my Celestron Nexstar A to C, I thought I'd have some fun and capture Saturn, Jupiter, and the moon. They were all close together and easy targets. And after that, I was gonna take the, the laptop here and do polar alignment on my CGX mount here. But the problem is I took the laptop and I walked right past the CGX. I didn't even take the dolly wheels off of the tripod. And I went through a whole night of imaging without any polar alignment. And I didn't look at the data yet, but what I do know is it play solved fine. Um, the autofocus was working. Uh, uh, the automatic meridian flip, everything seemed to work. So I have no idea what exactly happened with the data. Now, you have to do polar alignment. Otherwise, you're not going to have good tracking. Your auto guiding will be bouncing all over the place. Uh, your stars will be probably end up elongated instead of round. And that's probably going to be the least of your problems. So I have no idea what the data looks like, but it's going to be interesting. I didn't even realize I skipped polar alignment until about two in the afternoon today. It just popped into my head, huh? And when I looked out the window, the dolly wheels were still on the tripod legs. So, yeah, I, I can't believe I did that. But we'll see how the data looks. Okay, so here's my data. And I stacked a little over four hours of HA I captured that night. And I moved on to another filter. And, you know, by the way, I don't know how my guiding was performing. Everything has been running so smoothly with that setup. I just hit run sequence. It goes all night and uh, I just leave. I never have to look at it. So I wish though I had been looking at my guiding. That, oh well. But here is my data. And what do you think of the star? This is actually two to one, 200%. Um, and the stars actually look pretty dang good. I think I got away with it. And um, I did get lucky when I rolled out that scope because when I, I, I kept it in the same place so I could see how it was the next night. And when I ran Pole Master, I think I was about an inch and a quarter away from the target of where um, exact polar alignment should have been. I don't know what that comes to, about 15 Polaris widths away. So. Um, I got away with it. I think the data is definitely keepable. The stars look pretty good. This is just an STF on, on the data. And uh, it, it's a keeper. And now it's got me thinking. Maybe I should just skip polar alignment on that setup. Maybe I should just paint little marks on the concrete for that CGX setup. And, and just roll my setup out to that spot. You know, it would save me. Um, it would save me a little setup time. And, and, and with the CGX, by the way, you have the advantage because the RA and the deck on that mount go to an automatic home position when you power it on. So that's one benefit. So I definitely got away with it. And by the way, here is my, my Pegasus power box. I don't know when I'll actually get around to, to, to using it. I, I hope the boxes don't start to pile up like they did last time or I'll have to do another big unboxing video. So I'm not going to do a video for this. There's too many of them out there already and I don't think it's a big deal. So that's all I got folks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.